So we walked out into the field here in Menden, and we're in the check right now. This farmer is using Nutriplant SL in the seed furrow, and nothing else in this spot. And you can see the corn's a little short here, very dry. We're on gravelly ground, and not much rain in uh, June, July, and even here in August. Uh, we're at uh, the 20th of uh, August right now and we've only got about two and a half inches of rain in the last almost three months. As you can see the corn's pretty healthy. It is short. Uh, normal yields around here. Uh, about 200 bushel. And if you look at the ears you can definitely see that you know we're we definitely have smaller ears. You know each stalk does have some some ears on it. As you can see here, we've got a decent ear here. Uh, it has been very dry. This is not the normal size ear, but we have some ears here. And this is short corn. This is in a really, really dry spot. And if you look over this way, you can see the corn's quite a bit taller. It's probably two foot taller. And the same thing as you pan over this way here. You know, we picked a spot on the field here where it's very dry and the corn should really be struggling. We're going to go look at uh, a couple sections. We're going to use the camera and walk through the different sections so you can see what the field looks like as we come upon some competitors' products. So we're walking through the field, we're coming up on the competitor's product. Uh, did a foliar feed that was supposed to help with ear development and plant health. As you can see, there's a little bit of drift in between the rows and the check. And we're in the competitor's product again here. If you just look down the row, it looks like we should be uh, late October early November as far as how the crops look. Almost dead, struggling to stay alive. No ear development or very little ear development at all on this. Uh, I'm not sure what this product cost, but how much the product cost doesn't matter. If you can just look at the crop itself, you can see what, this, what that product cost. Age. And you can see this corn right here, that's the only ear development we have, right here. You go to this one, same thing, barely an ear there. Go to the next one, same thing. And if you pull back a little bit and actually look at the pole plant help, you can see it's pretty much almost all the way up to the top dead. You can see the corn was very stressed. It has a pineapple type shape to it. No leaves on the bottom. And then as you move up to the top, again we got that pineapple-y type stress that the corn's gone through. So you want to make sure that you're putting the right product on and a product that's not going to do any harm to your crop. We'll go back and look now at the NutriPlant applied the same time at the recommended label rates like the competitors label right here. You can see the result of the competitors product. Now we're going to go see what NutriPlant could do for you. Now we moved over into the section where we have NutriPlant SL in the seed furrow and we also did a foliar feed at the same stage as that other competitor's product at, at five leaf on the corn. Now we would have liked to gone again at six leaf stage, six to eight leaf because that's when we're developing the ear size. But we did the best we could and as you can see, you look around, you can see over here, very good plant health. Unlike where the competitor's product was and even the check, right down to the ground almost. You see a few leaves here and there dying, but in general the plant health is excellent.
And we'll come over here where the sun's shining a little bit so we can see. And now we look at the ear development, which we were shooting for. You can see that this ear has got a bigger girth on it, a couple inches longer. This one here, same thing. And down the line. Again, that's what we're trying to do with NutriPlant products and all the products that Grusho International offers is not necessarily selling you something just for the sake of selling you something, but working with you and introducing you to products that are going to help your bottom line.